Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear student. Hope you will be fine. I'm a teacher of SST class 7 from NGSS school. Today, our topic is an introduction to South Asia. Unit number importance of the Muslim world, its root. Now, today we are going to discuss Central Asia and Southwest Asia and Southeast Europe. So, first we will discuss Central Asia. Asia region comprises the countries of Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Republic Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Central Asia is the name given to the five states that were part of the Soviet Union until 1990. Central Asia is the name given to five states that were part of the Soviet Union SSR until 1990. These are Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan, which are Islamic countries. They are close to the, uh, to the northern area of Pakistan and a small Afghan treaty separate Pakistan from Tajikistan and near Central Asian state. Another Islamic country that is sometime included in Central Asia and Azerbaijan. The Central Asia states are all republic. The Central Asia state are republic. Like the Central Asia region comprises the country of Pakistan, Tajikistan, Republic. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. So the Central Asia state are all republic and democratic country. Those country who have one constitution, we call, we can call republic. So Central Asian country are republic country countries. These countries have deposit of valuable minerals. This country have valuable minerals. It is usually difficult to extract them as these countries are all situated in hilly areas. The economic or of the, these states usually depend on agriculture or trade. The economy of these states, these countries usually depend on agriculture or trade. Central Asia countries are republic, means they have own constitution and they have uh, valuable minerals. Uh, it is very, usually very difficult to extract them and these countries are all situated in hilly areas. If we talk about the economies, the, the economies of these states usually depend on agriculture or trade. Agriculture or trade. Southwest Asia. Western Asia, West Asia, or Southwest Asia is the westernmost subregion of the continent of Asia. Western Asia, West Asia, or Southwest Asia is the west, uh, westernmost subregion of the continent of Asia. It is entire, uh, entirely a part of the Greater Middle East. The region extended from Afghanistan to Yemen is Southwest Asia. It includes Afghanistan, Iran, Turkey, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, so Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Oman and Yemen. The region extended from Afghanistan and Yemen is Southwest Asia. It includes Afghanistan, Iran, Turkey, Jordan, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Yemen. Afghanistan has six bordering countries that include Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Iran, Pakistan, and China. Afghanistan has six bordering countries that include Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Iran, Pakistan, and China. The capital of Afghanistan is Kabul. The capital of Afghanistan is Kabul. It is a hilly country with no railway or seaport. Some part of the land in the south 
are fertile and vegetation is possible hilly country with no railway sea with no railway or seaport some part of the land in the south are fertile and vegetation is possible its total population over 28 million more than 99% of which is muslim the capital of afghanistan is kabul it is hilly country with no railway or seaport some part of the land in the south are fertile and vegetation is possible its total population over 28 million more than 99% of which is muslim afghanistan has six border countries that include rajasthan turkmenistan uzbekistan iran pakistan and china if we talk about its importance the capital of pakistan is kabul it is hilly country with no railway or seaport some part of the land is the south are uh, south are fertile the vegetation uh, is possible it is totally population over 28 million more than 97% of which is muslim but it's important pakistan afghanistan has six border countries that include rajasthan turkmenistan uzbekistan iran and uh, iran pakistan and china next countries central asian countries iran Iran officially the Islamic Republic of Iran historically known as Persia Iran officially the Islamic Republic of Iran historically known as Persia is country in western asia it is part of the middle east region it share border with afghanistan armenia azerbaijan iraq pakistan turkey and turkmenistan iran officially the islamic republic of iran historically known as persia is country in western asia it is a part of the middle east region it shares borders with afghanistan armenia azerbaijan iraq pakistan turkey and turkmenistan capital of iran is tehran Tehran is the capital of Iran. The official language is Persian. Persian is the official language of Iran. The most important natural resources of Iran are petroleum and natural gas. Petroleum and natural ga- gas are most important resources. The population of Iran is approximately 77 million population of iran is approximately 77 million most of which in muslim tehran is the capital of iran on its official language of persia the most important natural resources of iran and petroleum oil and natural gas the population of iran is approximately 77 million most of which is most um, uh, most of which is muslim officially the, officially the islamic republic of iran historically known as persia iran officially the islamic republic of iran historically known as persia is country in western asia it is part of the middle east region it shares border with afghanistan armenia azerbaijan iraq pakistan turkey and turkmenistan turkey officially the republic of turkey is a country straddling western asia and south east europe it shared border with Greece and Bulgaria to the northwest Turkey officially the republic of turkey is a country spanning western asia and south east asia it shares border with this and bulgaria to the north to the north is ankara 
Ankara is the capital of Turkey. Its population is over 37 million. Its population is over 37 million. Almost 99% of which is Muslim. Some Christians and Jews also live in the country which is Turkish. The official language is Turkish. The country is mainly agriculture but also produce important minerals. The country of Turkey is Ankara. Its population is over 37 million. Population is over 37 million. Almost 99% of which is Muslim. Some Christian angels also live in the country. Some Christian angels also live in the country. The language is Turkish. The country is minorly agriculture but produce important minerals. The country is minorly agriculture but also produce important minerals. The capital of Turkey is Ankara. The pop its population is over 37 million. Almost 99% of which is Muslim. Some Christians and Jews also live in the country. The official language is Turkish. The country is mainly agricultural but also produce important officially the Republic of Turkey is a country straddling Western Asia and South East Europe. It shares border with Greece and Bulgaria to the northwest. Capital of Turkey is Ankara. Its population is over 37 million, almost 99% of some Christian and Jews also live in the country. The official language is Turkish. Its official language is Turkish. The country is mainly agricultural, but also produce important minerals. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia National comprises an estimated 16 million people. Saudi Arabia has the world's largest, largest petroleum reserve and it is the world's largest oil exporter. The capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. It has been one of the largest producer of petroleum in the world. It has been one of the largest producer of petroleum in the world. The population of Saudi Arabia is 27 million. The population of Saudi Arabia is 27 million. All of which are Muslims. The official language of Saudi Arabia is Arabic. Official language of Saudi Arabia is Arabic. It has a special significance due to the cities of Mecca and Medina. It has a special significance due to the cities of Mecca and Medina. Mecca is the religious center of the Muslim world. It is city of Holy Kaaba, believed by the Muslim. Mecca is the religious center of the Muslim world. It is the city of Holy Kaaba believed by the Muslims. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Its official language is Arabic. It has been one of the largest producers of petroleum in the world. Saudi Arabia has the world's largest petroleum reservoir and is the world's largest oil exporter. The population of Saudi Arabia is around 27 million. All of which are Muslim. The official language of Saudi Arabia is Arabic. It has a special significance due to cities of Mecca and Medina. 
across Makkah and Medina and into the cities of Makkah and Medina. Makkah is the richest center of the Muslim world. It is the city of the Holy Kaaba believed by the Muslims. Makkah is the religious center of the Muslim world. It is the city of Holy Kaaba believed by the Muslims. The capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh, which has been one of the one of the largest producer of petroleum in the world. The population of Saudi Arabia is 27 million, all of which are Muslim. The official language of Saudi Arabia is Arabic. It has a special significance due to the cities of Mecca and Medina. It has a special significance due to the cities of Mecca and Medina. Mecca is the religious center of the Muslim world. It is the city of Holy Kaaba, believed by the Muslims. The organization of Islamic conference. YC means the Organization of Islamic Cooperation or Islamic Organization of Islamic Cooperation is the second largest organization of the, uh, after the United Nations with the membership of Islam. OIC, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation or second largest organization after the UN. United Nations with a membership of 57. In 1969, the leaders of the Muslim world decided to form an organization to promote solidarity. The organization of the Islamic Conference meets every three years. In 1969, the leaders of the Muslim world decided to form an organization to promote Solidity. The organization of the Islamic Conference OIC meets every three years. If we talk about its objective, its aim, so its objective is to develop economic, social, cultural, and significant scientific cooperation between the Islamic countries or the world. The aim of OIC to preserve Islamic social and economic values, promote solidarity among its members, state increase cooperation in social, economic, cultural, scientific, and political area. In 1969, the leader of the Muslim world decided to form an organization to promote solidarity. The organization of the Islamic Conference meet every three years and its objective is to develop economic, social, cultural and scientific cooperation between the Islamic countries of the world. Islamic Conference OIC meet every three years and its objective is to develop economic, social, cultural and scientific cooperation between the Islamic countries of the world. It also aims to the form an Islamic Development Bank and a common market for the Muslim world. It also aims to preserve Islamic social and economic values, promote solidarity among its member states, increase cooperation in social, economic, cultural, scientific, and political areas. It also aims to form an Islamic Development Bank and a common market for the Muslim world. The headquarters of the OIC are in Jeddah. Jeddah is located in Saudi Arabia. The headquarters of OIC in located in Jeddah. Centro means Central Treaty Organization. So organization, the Central Treaty Organization. C E N T O Cento, formerly Middle East Treaty Organization or Baghdad Pact Organization. Cento, formerly Middle East Treaty Organization or Baghdad Pact Organization. Mutual Security Organization dating from 1955 to 1979 and composed of Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, and the United Kingdom. Central Treaty Organization, formerly Middle East Treaty. 
organization or Baghdad backed organization, which was a security organization dating from 1955 to 1979 and composed of Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, and United Kingdom. In 1955 AD, Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, Iraq, and Britain signed an agreement to help each other in other social and economic development. And more importantly, to defend the region together. Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, Iraq, Britain signed an agreement to help each other, other social and economic development. And more important to defend the region together. In 1956, in 1955, 1955, they decided to develop uh, development economic, social, and economic development, and more important to defend the region together. In case of a foreign invasion, the treaty was called the Baghdad Pact. In case of a foreign invasion, the treaty was called the Baghdad Pact, as it was signed in Baghdad. The capital of Iraq, the United States, U.S., did not sign the con construct, but supported it. Actively, treaty was called the Baghdad Pact as it was signed in Baghdad, the capital of Turkey. The United States did not sign the construct but supported it actively. And advantages of this treaty was that three Muslim countries like Pakistan, Iran, and Turkey come closer. The advantage of this treaty was that the three Muslim countries, Pakistan, Iran and Turkey come closer. Sento come to Sento come to an end when Iran announced of the Islamic Resolution in 1979 AD that it would leave the organization and Pakistan also came to an end when Iran announced after the Islamic Revolution in 1979 AD that it would leave the organization and Pakistan also with the Central Treaty Organization. Formerly Middle East Treaty Organization or Baghdad Pact, the organization which was first mutual security organization dating from 1955 to 1979 and composed of Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, and United Kingdom. In 1955, AD, Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, Iraq, and Britain signed an agreement to help each other and in other social and economic development, and more importantly, to defend the region together in case of foreign invasion. The treaty was called the Baghdad as it was signed in Baghdad, the capital of Iraq, the United States, US. Jitar signed the construct are supported to actively.